Mic check, mic check. It is five o'clock and no later than that. And you're watching Chelsea and Tony live. Every Thursday at five, we review your pictures, cover the latest in photo news. If there is anything cool, we give you some inspiration. We do some chit chat. We review your portfolios. What don't we do? And all of this is made possible by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, you can make your next move with Squarespace. They have beautiful award-winning designer templates and all-in-one platform. 24-7 customer support. If you can drag and drop, you can make a Squarespace. And guess what? If you're a photographer, you can make cool little logos and watermarks and things on there for free as well. Try your free trial today at squarespace.com slash Tony. Try it for free. No credit card needed. I think you're going to like it. And when you do, you can use the coupon code portfolio and get 10% off of your entire purchase. If you already have a Squarespace site, visit stp.io slash link and send me your uh, URL. Yeah, we'll, look and we'll take at a look it. at it in, the, in, in like, the course of the live show. How awesome in like real time. And what's the worst that's going to happen? You're going to learn something? I mean, come on. We won't, do it. We won't be too rough on you. Oh, I forgot something. But this week we're going to be reviewing your creative self-portraits. So those are pictures of yourself representing yourself and they're creative. So not just plain old, here's me, I took a selfie with my phone. Do something interesting and different. Siobhan is going to be going through those and booting out all the borings. Boom. <laughs> Bye boring. Goodbye boring. Uh, <laughs> what if you took a picture of somebody else? If that person is your identical twin, I guess I can't do anything about it. Uh, what if somebody else took a picture of you? Again, I probably can't prove it. You're no, 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 no. The answer is no. Don't send it in. <laughs> Self-portraits, meaning you took the picture and it's yeah. of you. Maybe yeah. you have the camera on a tripod or something. Otherwise, don't send it in. And also, on a white background doesn't count. Why? Creative. What if it's creative? Mine was taken on a white background. Chelsea, you're... Oops. I'm being I don't a think... naysayer. Um, stp.io slash submit. We'll take a look at your pictures in a, in a few seconds. This wasn't really any notable photo news. For more updates for the GH5 and Sony A9, if you have one of those, go yeah. get it. They're good. Uh, but otherwise, something soon... Will... New stuff will be happening very soon in the next couple of weeks. New big Shh. stuff. But it's secret right now. So today's inspiration, since we're doing self-portraits, is Arno Raphael Minkinen. Oh, his stuff is crazy. He's so cool. He was born in 1945 in Helsinki, and his work can be seen at the MoMA in New York and museums all around the world. He began taking self-portraits in 1971. Um, he was working as a creative director, I believe. I'll have to double check that now. He attended RISD, which is the Rhode Island School of Design, not very far from us, so I yeah. thought that was neat. And he was a professor at, um, of art at UMass Lowell. I had no idea that he was a local boy. He's right in our backyard, and, and I didn't even places. know until I started looking into this. He says, artists who believe they control everything control what they know. I thought that was an interesting quote. So he has some unusual self-portraits here. You can see his head on a stump in the water. It's like, how do you think of this, Arno? I love it. And one of him kind of placing his body over rapids and getting a picture. I don't know how he pulled that one off. Well, let's um, be clear. These are single exposure film. Yes. These are not photoshopped together. No. And, and that's part of it. What's amazing is this is done in camera. And so many pictures I look at him like, how did he do that? Well, what's really cool, so this is kind of stretching the self-portrait definition after I just kind of like harshly laid down the law, but his his work can get more abstract as self-portraits, and maybe any individual picture you wouldn't necessarily consider a self-portrait, but as a larger body of work, you see how he's depicting himself abstractly just one part at a time. Sometimes his hands, sometimes his face, sometimes his legs, and he's always integrating himself into the environment around him. And look at the composition. His nose is right in the middle of where the boards come together. It's just beautifully composed. How did he line this up with a film camera? He didn't get to look at the flippy screen or use Wi-Fi to see a preview. No, he just had to shoot it and then hope it turned out. 
How did he manage? I don't know. He's extremely talented. Yeah. I love this photo. I love this too. Again, alone, not really a self-portrait per se, but when you start to look at his work, you see that he's just seeing himself as a part of his environment. It looks so abstract. It's so weird looking and it almost looks photoshopped. Yeah, I'm going to say that I would allow all these pictures. It doesn't matter if you don't have eye contact. It doesn't have to be a traditional portrait. We're looking for creative portraiture. So if your face isn't in there, that's cool. I um, love this one. Yeah, great job. Almost not human. Yeah, it's so it's so strange. So I wanted to share him with you and inspire you to get some interesting self-portraits. I know that the challenge is this week, so you can't get inspired and then go out and shoot. So next week, I'm going to make my inspiration for the following week to give you some time to... Um, just work on your next week's submissions. Yeah, we're still figuring stuff out. We don't know. We're learning. Everyone's learning. We know it's not perfect. Um, the self portrait themes are my self -portraits? favorite. Have you ever taken self portraits? A few. Um, but I, I definitely could do more of it. I think yeah. it's important to get into self portraits. Everybody needs some experience being a model. Yeah. If you're going to be a photographer, because you start to learn how to position your body and you work through that process just so you can communicate with other people. It's important to do that. Uh, I, this is definitely interesting because it's a little bit mysterious. I just wish I had some more sense for the, the context of the environment. I like the composition. Yeah. I like the silhouette. It does have a certain mood, but I like the background doesn't tell me anything. Like I don't get any sense for what's going on. Dare I raise the shadows? Oh, All right. So that tells me a little more. Yeah. I guess I wish there were a little more story to it. So this is a self portrait and they're walking with their partner here really pretty picture yeah i like it the light here is beautiful i can definitely see why they chose that spot we have this kind of powerful line and i think it's they're off center but i think that's balances it well given the um, bright light in the upper left corner that's a powerful element in the composition that's my only with the color you can do this in post too i'm seeing a lot of like green streaks like there's some green strange stuff in here and you can just go in and play with the color temperature and tint and things like that and get the color to look a little nicer oh this one's very different i feel like they're showing up to their ski cabin or something yeah i like this shot uh, be mostly because of these like powerful geometric lines yeah uh, yeah, I wonder about the flash. I guess maybe I don't know what it will look like without the flash, but you can see the flash really hit the railing here hard, so it's super bright and maybe overpowering, and it also hit these leaves, I think, and that can be a little overpowering, but I'm going to give that a pick. I like it. It's, I, it is it's creative. It's a little weird. Oh, man, this Ooh, is fantastic. This is a self spoiling for a fight. You know what this reminds me of is the old Blade Runner. Just the style of, of makeup, and I'm just really pumped about the new Blade Runner movie. I am too. Um, can I just say, I do not like the hand here, because it's it's almost not recognizable as a hand, just because it's barely in the frame. So I think I'd probably just crop it out or, or choose a pose without that. I, I would like to see just more of the hand, because I like that... Um, it frames her like they're close to each other, but his hand, I can tell it's his hand. It makes them look more connected. Mm -hmm. You can tell that they're touching. So I think it tells a part of the story, but maybe I'd like to see a little bit more of it. I love the lighting on this picture. I'm going to give that a pick. Yeah, they did a good job of that. Wait. Yeah, that can work too. I think the colors work with the intensity of it. It's interesting. Andrew Reed, you just sit around being all cool like that with your finger gun? That's creative. I, I gave you a pick. I just like it. It's a cool shot. I like shot. it too. Nicely done. Good job, Andrew. Wait, is this the same person? Yeah, it must be. Okay. Uh, oh, no. No, it's not. They don't. I think they're different people. Oh. This is very interesting. Okay. It's like a shattered look. I see your face just peering through in color. Yeah, I think it tells us a little bit about Andrew, and that's kind of the ideal situation. Whatever you add to the picture should tell us more about you. What does it tell you about him? 
I feel like he's break stuff. Yeah, you know, maybe he has some. He feels some amount of turmoil. Ah, that's what it tells. That's what it speaks to me. I don't know exactly how he intended it. <laughs> Is this a self? Is she shooting into a mirror? She, maybe. Yeah. Um. I like this. Yeah, I, I like think it there's too. There's something comical about it. It Probably is comical, and she's got the statue seems to be looking down at the photographer, yeah. which I like. Um, maybe it needs to be brighter or something, and it has that like incandescent kind of greenish yellow. Yeah, I'm just playing with the so colors a little bit. Black and white might work with the kind of classical look of it. It's very soft too. It doesn't have a lot of contrast, so the black and white doesn't work that well. Mm. But I do. I like the picture, the composition, and the story. Our good friend Aperture Blade found some reflections to take his picture in. I I like the shot because it feels kind of alien to me. It looks like a little happy face with a couple of big eyes. Yeah. You guys are creative today. Oh, this is gorgeous. Bracketed photo. Shot in Italy. Wow. Um. Yeah, the texture in the sky is awesome. I'm going to give you a pick. You are the perfect focal point here. The picture would stand on its own without it, but um, the fact that you're in there really adds something to it. And even that you're kind of looking over to the left towards the valley helps draw the eye through the frame. Man, this is very cool. Uh, I love the colors, the gradient. I love how simple the composition is. This is a very strong photo. I'm going to give this one a pick, too. They are nailing this challenge. Barry Buckley, the queen selfie. <gasps> Good. I like pulling inspiration from mm -hmm. things like that. It's from a, a queen album cover, right? Or some picture that I recognize from the band. But I, I like the idea of pulling inspiration. Nice work. Yeah. <laughs> ben, ben Hartley. Hartley. <laughs> What did he see, do you think? Justin, care to guess what he saw? Uh, Chupacabra? Is that what that thing's called? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where he lives, there Good are many guess, Chupacabra. I like it. I will say Snapchat and other mediums are really teaching kids these days to take creative self-portraits. Like, they have self-portrait techniques that blow my mind. Don't they do weird, all sorts of weird little things? And yeah, they are. This generation is the master of the self portrait. Mm -hmm. Chad, I love the dramatic sky. And I think that for the mood, the black and white works really well. I like that your eyes are a bit obscured. You look mysterious and a little bit creepy. And I think it's really working. I was thinking, I'm going to give you a pick. Thing. Good shot. Ooh. Chris used a, what is it called? Like a pegboard or something? And yeah, shot, like something you'd have in your garage. Yeah, shot some lights at the back of it. We have one of those in our studio too. I like that you got some different colors. Yeah, I might even go a little more extreme with it all. Very cool. Let's see. <laughs> Cliff, you got me. This is pretty funny. Um, it's technically spot color, so one demerit, but I still like you. Uh, I like that, you know, you're playing with the idea of the universe being aware of itself. And I, you're a deep guy, so I'm going to give you a pick. Be careful, though. If you get 10 demerits, that's one citation. <laughs> We've been watching The Office. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Unless you remember, like, season four, episode two, you're probably not going to get that joke. I'm just going to bump the contrast. You took a, going to sue the monkey that let me take this on his phone. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, I like that you went wide angle. It's very silly and interesting looking. Yeah, that's cool. It's fun. Oh. Oh, man, this is tough. Do you focus on yourself or on the stars? I mean, this is a real challenge. For me, it's always on me, the real star. <laughs> so you're reading into David. You're like, well, he's not a narcissist, so he's got that going for him. <laughs> I love the colors, obviously. The sky's beautiful. 
Um, I think you made the right choice focusing on it. I'm seeing that you're observing it and appreciating it. So even though you're not in focus, it's drawing my eye to the sky. And I think that's a big, bigger part of the story. I'm going to give you a pick. It's got to be the best selfie in front of uh, Aurora Borealis ever, right? I don't know, Tony. That's a pretty big statement. <laughs> this is so nice. I love the lighting. His dark hair with his light shirt, the contrast is beautiful. But I wish his hair weren't cut off because it's just barely cut off. Like I'd rather it be cut deeply or have a little bit of space above his head. I'm going to give it a pick. One thing about self-portraits, it's good to shoot a little wide because you can crop down and it can be hard to position yourself perfectly in the frame. Also, you could get that ISO down. Use a slower shutter speed. I love us. He took a romantic picture with <laughs> his drone. Okay, well, you made me laugh out loud. Are you, you jealous, for that. Tony? <laughs> wow. I hope we see more pictures like this. This is intense. Putting yourself in a it. movie poster. That's okay. You get a pick for that too. That's definitely creative. <laughs> oh, I love how his lashes are just lit. Even though the, the front eye is perfectly sharp and lit. Yeah, I don't know how you nailed the focus like that for a self-portrait. Yeah. Because it's so hard to get like shallow depth of field. I'm gonna like give that, that a pick. Very cool. Yeah, I love the lighting on that one. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Two crew. Look at the expression of both of them. They're in love. I'm gonna give this a pick and five stars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a beautiful shot. <laughs> this is a self-portrait? How'd you do that? Lonely in a forest. Story of my life, Eva. <sighs> We're um, just going to have to talk about it one day. What's going on back here, though? Oh, she probably bumped up the colors, and then sometimes it can get a little... Yeah, just be careful about that. You can blend back in the original picture for that part of the frame. But good shot, Eva. Ooh. I think I'm going to... Try just cropping down on your hat a little. Oh, you... good. I like the mood in this picture. Yeah, I like it too. Expression is the most important thing. Good. I wish you were focused on the near eye. It's a minor point. His outfit is great. But right? yeah, the outfit, the shadow, you five stars. everything. Great Look at job. style. They are really thinking about light. Grayson, this is a great picture. I might expose it just for your for you a little bit more yeah since you are like the star the of the show general will crop between the joints so you're kind of cropping on your ankles there and it feels really weird uh again shoot a little wider for self-portraits yeah it helps to crop it i think for this shot we would want to see the feet but Haley. Haley still it's amazing because she can sleep and take great self-portraits <laughs> they caught me slipping <laughs> they caught that is creative. He's one with the trees. Very yeah, cool. That's cool. Nicely done. All right. Let's take some questions from Siobhan and okay. see if anyone has any comments or questions. We have too many comments. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Roddy's Kitchen gave us $5 and said TNC and crew got this live show on lockdown. We got it on lockdown. Thank you. Thank you. If only nice they knew the truth, though. That. Huh? I said, if only they knew the truth. We're just hanging Jason out. Jason Macomber gave us $5 and said, love the truth that these two bring to the table. Thanks, Tony and Chelsea. Thank but you. But spelled Chelsea wrong. That's okay. It's a weird name. Um, I don't have any questions. No questions. No. Are Maybe because I didn't, I forgot to introduce you guys. But yeah, you can ask questions during the live show and Siobhan will read them to us. Also, can we say hi to Justin? Because I didn't. Hey, Justin, Justin. you're there, right? I'm here. What's There's cracking? Justin. He's How's making everything work. <clears throat> My voice is going out now. <laughs> you guys are very busy this <laughs> afternoon filming, so you're feeling it. I, on the other hand, am amped up. I had a green tea, so I'm pretty much wild. <laughs> Look at uh, this great picture submitted by Jim. Yeah, it's awesome, right? He is totally nailed pandering like nobody else. <laughs> Look at the confetti that's flying out of the book. <laughs> he 
He has. Yeah. He's got beer. Look at the hand coming up. There's one on the floor. Oh my god! I almost missed There's that. There's a gym on the floor. And oh, this is a hair dryer for the confetti, I guess. <laughs> and he's giving him a beer. This is great. I give you five stars and a pick for all the obvious reasons. And he's watching the show where we plugged our appearance. Yeah. So you want to kind of, can we also critique this photo? That's a beautiful photo, Look at, Jim. This is one of my favorite po pictures that he's done. Oh, yeah. Eagle yeah, fight. fight. Really getting deep into Jim's, Jim's like, living hey, room hey, here. hey, get out of my living he's room. He's got a car man. <laughs> Stop it. You're creeping me out. What if Jim has something dangerous up there? Exactly what Thank I was for looking for. Thank you Jim. And thank you for putting up with us being a little bit creepy every day. No comp. You get a pick for that. That's beautiful. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely stunning. I Which love the Janine. Milky Way. Janine. Uh, this is JC. Great toning on this. I love this shot. I like the story. This here. feels like Breaking Bad almost to me. Yeah. Dang. He's too cool. Well. I was going for the colors, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to give it a That's awesome. You get a pick, JC. What? We both liked it. Yeah, we hit it at the same time. Jim Setzer, reflections from a a Dale Chihuly glass ball. I didn't know that's what those were called. That's interesting. I like Push it. Up. Very creative. Joe Flynn, flash self-portrait. Okay. All right. I'm going to crop it down a little bit because we're seeing some door here. Yeah, there sorry, I didn't say anything. I was just pondering how you took the picture of the camera. It's getting wow. meta. Dang. You spooking me. John's hell. intense. Look at his spooky face. He's like a mad Elvis. Oh, you're not peeking in those shadows. You think he'd. I think He's this on is to his me. first time at the rodeo, Tony. He knows you. Self yellow. What does it mean? I it, wait. This is him. Oh, that's him. Yeah. I'm just confused. I think he's saying that's him in the yellow, but there's somebody down here taking a picture. Maybe that's <laughs> it. Maybe that's him. They're both him. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, this one, and I like it. No, this is definitely she creative. She said she's not creative, but you really are, Catherine. I love this ghostly look you have. Your eyes are wide. I'll say it's hard to nail focus on yourself, but you might use a higher f-stop just to give yourself a little more breathing room, like f8, f11. Good shot. Very Interesting. Cool. Compelling. Whoa. Okay, well, you just get points for being in an awesome place <laughs> and being an awesome person but also this is a great picture i'm giving it a pick yeah you get a pick kayla awesome <sighs> we got the coolest ladies on the show that's for sure kevin davis are you magical uh awesome shot i would maybe just remove this and that <laughs> but otherwise i like it or put more stuff because i i kind of like it just like hey i'm in my living room just doing this you're cool this is my life I like that too, a little motion blur Cam. in it. That's a cool shot. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Our female audience is like blossoming into my dream. Here's I Krista. Can't handle it. Krista Decker. Crazy self-portrait. That is a cool self-portrait pick. Yeah, it is. It's classic and creative. Kyle, Kyle. Wolf. <gasps> I've missed him so much. <laughs> Kyle Wolf, this is beautiful. Just gonna zoom in here. Oh, that's a little tight, but what are you doing to Kyle Wolf? <laughs> Sorry, Kyle. Um, Great. Beautiful shot. I love the light kind of reflecting off the atmosphere and the starburst there. You found a great, great composition and you put yourself in it. You get Very a pick, cool. Bro. Lexi Star. Cool. Did you set up a tripod? Who's in here? It's probably just a car that was going past. I like it. Good shot, Lexi. <laughs> Lisa Keen. I love seems this. Fun. is so light and fun. I'm going to give it a pick. So Reason colorful. Color. Mads Hilbrandt. Wow. There's so much going on here. I know. He's floating. 
um, over a picture. I love the concept. I want a little more separation between your legs and the background. I would just take the layer that the background is on and just brighten it a little since your pants are so dark. Just to separate it, give it a little more pop. Um, but That's very much interesting. Thing. Yeah, good shot. Okay. Joshua tree. Yeah, you're there. The I shot. love those trees too. I like this little bit of, and the foreground gives it a lot of depth. What, what would you call that? A little. Is a technical term? A little. <laughs> okay. Oh, who's taking the photo? You blew my mind. You're getting meta there. I don't know. These people are freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> He's a sea monkey. He's calling him brine shrimp, but those are clearly sea monkeys. That's a realistic name for them. <laughs> Sea monkey is the glorified name. Uh, they should call him child disappointers. <laughs> well, this is cool. Now yeah. he's his own Good shot, sea monkey. Mike. I like it. That's Maggie. cool. I uh, see you. Oh, okay. I there you are. You. I almost missed you. I see you, creepy. Neck. Oh. Yeah, it's all right. There he is in his sunglasses. Oh. I want to make sure we get through everybody's picture yeah. today, so kind of flipping through. We're flipping through. I like this a lot. The pose is nice. I just wish that candle weren't mode. right there. Yeah, it's just so dead center. Like, like, they were pushed off to the side a little bit more. I like your um, expression. Do we have any questions? Comments? Yeah. yeah, we got a lot since I called them out. Oh, yeah. Cool shot, Rachel. Oh, my gosh. Whoa, look at Richard. Are there any more Wanderlusts coming up? Yeah, like 10. Um, we have a... We just need to edit a bunch of them i think we have a new process that'll get them edited and out yeah so, yeah soon yes what else siobhan what are you guys drinking tonight nothing dogfish surprising head 60, like always tony has dogfish head i have a large glass of water because i got dehydrated playing the sports last night and a little bit of wine gotta loosen up it's 5 30 here how about you siobhan what do you have? I'm drinking my 12 year Jameson from our friend Rod. Oh, hey, we have the same glasses as you. We're cool. Justin, what are you doing? The thrift store special. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, also drinking the dogfish head. Wow. For a That's creative theme show, our drinks aren't very creative, guys. Um, look at Rocky's picture. I just want to make sure we show it because his wife is going to kill him. <laughs> It's got everything in the it. Dogs. There's pirates and. <laughs> I want to give this one a. Dogs. Pick. Okay, you got to pick. Oh, uh, Rosalind. I finally, like... somebody with an appropriate number of pencils. Every she... other picture's not had enough pencils. She's like a pencil peacock. Uh huh. Oh, sorry. You're gonna make adjustments. I'm just gonna add a little bit of contrast. Yeah. Go a little pop. More pencils. Whoa. I feel Dang, like this awesome. is his album cover. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Maybe, a, Maybe a little more space on the right side. He sings romantic songs, I think. Oh, man, Sean, this is awesome. Whoa. I actually had a similar concept to mine, and I never did it. But you did it. You did it. You pick, did pick N5. I love it. This is Siobhan. Oh, Siobhan. This looks awesome. great. I like that a lot. That's a great idea. She looks so spooky. Yeah. Spooky for life. Good shot. You get a pick, too, Siobhan. All right, this is definitely a band photo, right? Stephen Lizard. I like Sexology. That three of these people are taking pictures, and one person does not care. But he's got something in his hand. Huh. Cool shot. I love the love lighting. Love the colors. <gasps> Bored waiting for my movie fan brother. Sounds like you're waiting okay. to scare the crap out of your movie friend brother. Stuart Sykes. Live long and prosper. Oh, look, he made his little ears. And he put a little hand there. That's the second Vulcan yeah. reference tonight. Yeah, you guys are into Star Wars. Nice lighting. One dream. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. I like that a lot. I like the concept. My only constructive criticism, Taylor, would to be to get a real flower. Because upon closer inspection... <clears throat> It just bumps me a little. It's actually the collar that bugs me a little. Like, it's just kind of weird. Oh, there. I didn't but even notice that. I like it. It's different people. Most people wouldn't even notice either one. I didn't notice the flower was fake. 
Oh, really? Yeah, because I don't have any real flowers in my life. I've killed them all. I only have fake flowers. Tim, you look like a wizard. Yeah, what are you doing there, Tim? I like it. Oh. thought maybe that was the same Tim. Waiting for the show to start. Good thing he doesn't have a clock anywhere in that arrangement. He'd know we were late. Ooh, this looks like maybe some black and white would work. I might just crop it down a little bit. There you go. A little cool. more intimate. Oh, nice. I like the lighting. Yeah, I like the lighting a lot, too. Um, Again, I think I'd just bring it down so that the eyes were in the top third. Yeah, I agree with that. Oh, though he calls it. Hmm. Let's see. What happened? Lightroom. We broke it. We did it. Oh, that was the last we're one. We're done. We'll reimport, but let's uh. Let's go to. Maybe we should do a Squarespace real quick because we're. Oh, you want to do a portfolio? So Tony and I. We have Squarespace sponsor, sponsoring the show. They make it possible. And we love Squarespace. We host our own portfolios on there. Um, so we like to review yours and give you some tips, look at your photos. So these are the people that submitted using the link sdp.io slash link. Hmm. Which one of these really strikes you? That bird. This bird one? Yeah. I like okay. the... Let's check them out. It's just like a full page picture. I like that. DVFX. First, I'd like to learn about the person a little bit. Okay. So there's JC. JC Man. Oh, so we, we saw a picture, picture of earlier. him. Yeah. This is a perfect contact page. It's yeah. got your contact. You're about all in one page. I Good like that. Good picture of you. Not too many words. The home page. Oh, I see. We go through the enter here. I don't know that we need to link back. Yeah. Like, you can get rid of the home link there. Go you don't to, need to go back to the main let's page. Let's go to portraits. <clears throat> and also just a usability thing. I would promote the portfolio submenus to a top menu. So you have portraits, wildlife, whatever, instead of having that little drop menu. Just, it's easier. Okay, I'm just browsing through quickly. And my first impression is that you did not lead with your strongest photo. I think this photo is one of your strongest photos, your second photo. What do you think, Tony? Yeah, I'd pick the second photo too. I would also, we have uh, two pictures of the same lady sequentially, a few pictures in, and I'd probably just pick one of those two. Okay, let's go to wildlife. Oh, I love that. I love yeah, the that colors. picture is gorgeous. I don't even know how you managed. Um, that is a very cool picture. I Let me see. Zoom in there. Is that real it's it feels like the background must be fake to me but i don't see any obvious editing flaws so either you did a perfect job editing or you had some crazy atmospheric conditions that yeah. i've never seen before but either way it looks good um i the white vignette doesn't work well on the white background so that's one thing i'm noticing with you have very high key photos. Um, that's just a minor nitpick. Like these look really nice. Okay. So he's adding the background, I guess. Okay. You got yeah, your style. Nice. Let's look at nature. But you don't have too many photos. You've got a lot of nice photos. This is amazing. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I think. I think I would still pare down his photos because he has, this is so amazing. And I think less is more. Just put your strongest shots. Um, that one's, this one's very beautiful. I like the dead end one. Yeah. Well, maybe we should suggest specific pictures to pare down. Like, I feel like this picture could probably go. Yeah, this one. It might look great in print, but in this format, it doesn't look great. Uh, the two... lightning picture, I might even crop in a little tighter. Yeah. And I think this picture here doesn't really I would lead with this me. lightning picture. I think it's yeah. really Lightning's striking. Yeah, cool. People like lightning. Yeah. But you have a nice portfolio, not too many pictures, a little. I had a few suggestions with the 
how you laid out the pictures, the ones with the really high key background, maybe just leave them out if they're not your best photo, if they don't look good on your portfolio, or consider a different background or adding a frame or something, but looked really good. Here's what JC had to say about Squarespace. Hey guys, here's the link to my Squarespace site. It's only been up for about a month, but I'm very pleased with how it turned out. Putting the site together was quick and easy, not to mention very user-friendly. I especially like that they have a variety of professional looking templates and features to choose from. That does a great job of showcasing my work without having any web design skills at an affordable price. Thanks once again and have a great show. JC, I can't agree more. It's very easy to use. Guys, you can go to Squarespace and get your free trial today at squarespace.com slash Tony. You can get 10% off your final purchase if you decide to buy it. But I will say, just try it. Just go and make the free portfolio. It's a great way to lay out your pictures and see where you have strong pictures, where you could go out shooting more, where you need to add to your portfolio. I know for me, I felt like I had more conceptual portraits than I actually did. When I went to drop them into my portfolio, I thought, this is something I need to shoot more. It's something that I thought I had a lot of. I don't. Some of them are weaker than I remembered. And so it encouraged me and inspired me to go out and get better shots and more shots for my portfolio. And also, we even say to each other, oh, was it a portfolio worthy shot? Because we have this thing yeah. where we're constantly taking one picture out, adding a new picture. So it's a great way to just kind of challenge yourself to always outdo yourself even by just a little bit to put a new picture in your portfolio. So try out the free trial, um, no credit card needed. If you like it, go to squarespace.com slash Tony and use the coupon code portfolio. That'll get you 10% off. And it's pretty inexpensive. I think it's like $9 a month or something like that. Thanks for sponsoring us, Squarespace. I'll uh, import some more pictures because we got through everything. Siobhan, do you have any questions or comments from the fine people at home? Sure do. What is your worst traveling experience? Hmm. I don't know if it's the worst, but the first one that came to mind was um, Tony and I. It was one of our first big trips together, and we were driving. We drove through France all the way down through Italy and we ended up putting diesel in a gasoline rental car. I think it's called like Gasolina or you something. Can't, you can't even do that over here. It's like different size nozzles. Yeah. Well, we didn't make it very far. <laughs> and then we were in Bologna, Italy, and nobody spoke English and our Italian was just like very, very bad. I don't even think there was good cell service there at the time. So we had to just flag down someone to help us it took like all day that was funny it did not seem funny at the time but in <laughs> hindsight it's hilarious yeah but if we hadn't if we hadn't ruined that rental car i would have never seen that baby riding the moped that's and true that was a life changer for me <laughs> it's also one of those scary things like i know they're going to charge my credit card but i don't know how much and i'm not going to look <laughs> yeah. and i don't know if that car i won't know will for ever a drive again yeah yeah We've had a lot of strange experiences, but that's just one. Anything else, Siobhan? Yeah, Kyle Wolf asked a question. What's your best advice for posting yourself in pictures? Do you ever use apps to connect to the camera to see a live feed, or is it mostly trial and error until something comes out? It is a good time to use Wi-Fi, if nothing else, to focus on yourself and check your composition. And yeah, shoot a little wide, plan to crop. I my setup is pretty advanced but i'll tether and then we have uh just a little computer in the studio on a stand and i can actually just turn it around and see exactly what every picture looks like on the monitor um that but, is pretty advanced but before that i would just i would just put it on a timer to like pop a picture every few seconds or whatever and then um like get an idea of what was in focus and try not to move out of that focal range yeah exactly and if you don't have wi-fi that's still the best thing you kind yeah. of you put something where you're going to be standing like a balloon or a stick and you focus on that and then you lock it into manual focus so it'll refocus and then you just set a timer run over there pose and then go back and check and realize that you cut the top of your head off <laughs> shoot a little wide yeah and that both eyes are out of focus but your hand is oh man what uh, else shabam What do you do when lacking inspiration for a project and time is running out? Mm. 
Um, I just find, just shoot. Just, even if you think it's a dumb idea, just take pictures. And oftentimes, one bad idea can spark a better idea. So just get the project started. Just get the ball rolling, and at least you'll come out with something. Yeah, and I'll say that there, you can make it okay to not get a great shot every time. That definitely happens where I'm looking around. We had that happen recently in a shoot, and I'm looking around. I'm like, I can't make anything work from here. And my default will be like, you shoot for a while, Chelsea, and I'll just try to help you. Yeah. And I'll just try to assist. And sometimes you'll do something, and it's like a brainstorming process. Like, I'll actually be able to build, and I'll be able to make some suggestion to you that will help you out. Yeah. Um, yeah. I Wait, talk. I wanted to talk about my friend. This girl that clearly knows my life. Yeah, I love this story. Life as a realtor. <laughs> realtor. Angry realtor. Real <laughs> Realty is a tough job, man. People are always lying. <laughs> People be lying, cheating. They makes do. you drink and scream and cry. What's with these liars. two fellas? Nice. You've got a fan, Siobhan. <laughs> it, it it weirds me out a little just to see that he's paused it. Like he's locked it on this frame and he's just getting yeah, real, he's got a, real tight on the TV. He had to pick a good frame and then he had to pose in it. Good one, Jeff. I understand. That's the storytelling part. Eric, this is a beautiful picture. I love the lighting. I love the composition. I love the Camaro. <laughs> you Don't do care love Camaro. I about you, Eric. <laughs> you Get a do. pick for the Camaro. Ooh, I love this. Caleb. Yeah, that is just so sharp, and I love that you got the sun just peeking through. How did he do it? it? You get a pic, Caleb. How did he get that picture? Self-portrait with a guitar. I wish we could see your hand, like your hand on the other the other hand. <laughs> Not the hand we can see. You wish you could see both hands. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, I like this um, scary one. Is Reminds he a Vulcan, Vulcan too? <laughs> What's with the Everyone's a Vulcan, but... He looks more like a chupacabra to me. So I think that this was a obviously a creative choice, but I'm still going to bring up the highlights just on the sides of your face. Just a little. You're not going to peek in the shadow. <laughs> I'm not going to peek. I'm going to be a nice person. Krishna, Good lighting. I love the yeah. toning. Really nice. <gasps> That's exactly how I feel about Christmas, Matthew. <laughs> He's got a bottle of vodka over there. And just a bunch of snowmen just staring at him. Oh my gosh, this is almost. Oh, terrifying. I see. It's like a Gulliver's Travel thing. Like... Yes, he was attacked. All by right, the... you get a pick for that. What's up? Is that that's just like the most beautiful fireplace I've ever seen. Yeah, it looks nice. Oh, look at this farrier. Whoa. I. That's a self-portrait, Jeremy. That's great. I did not know that word farrier. That's like somebody who puts flour on horse hooves or something. <laughs> that What's was a deal? terrible guess, but I still <laughs> love you. That is someone that takes care of a horse's feet. They file them. They put their shoes on them. That's a whole, like a job? You get just yeah. foot, horse foot yeah. specialists? Yeah, it's very important to keep your horse's feet healthy okay. and their teeth. Are there ever people who do both the feet and the teeth or? yeah we just had one vet that came out and he did he did it all all right and you call him the farrier tony just never heard this before <laughs> look at this uh it's it's spot color chelsea what are you gonna do about well, that well so i yeah. i'm never gonna win this war i just gotta roll with it <laughs> i like the ring of light it's like very creepy like you're um you've been abducted or something i think that's cool very creative. Bruce with Mars background. All right. Go. Go Bruce. Yeah. Oh, I like that crop. I like that. That's creative. He looks it, like he's thinking. He's compelling and interesting. <gasps> You're not supposed to be doing that, Jonathan. I'm telling your mother. <laughs> it's a very small cigarette, Jonathan. But I'm going to make it black and white because I think that the, the green was a little overwhelming and i want to see this light here and a bit more of the smoke no it's a cool shot smoke is really awesome to work with i'm gonna give you a pick 
Wow. Dang, I love Luke, that. Luke, you your brain's Luke. running away. I really like that. I definitely feel like that some days. Mark showing all of his personalities. Wow, five what is he, like a businessman and a photographer and a race car driver? He watches TV. Boys. He plays video games. He reads Game of Thrones. <gasps> he reads Game of Thrones. Where'd he get those flowers? He's got a sweet view. Nice. He could hang out with Jim. There's many gyms as well. <laughs> nice. I like. I actually like that this is kind of shaky and noisy. I'm going to give that a pet. Ah! Help! Oh my god, that's so confusing. Upside down. Okay, well you get a pick, Nora. <laughs> Dang. It's just my brain processed it in a very strange way for me. That's uncomfortable. Wow. Manual fisheye hung on elastic bands on a light fitting. Wow. Okay, I love this. I'm gonna give yeah. that a pick and yeah, five. That, that is, is cool. really fascinating. I love that we can just see the whole kitchen and we actually learn a little bit about you. I feel like I know you a little bit better. How I you think live. he likes good coffee. Oh, another person. <gasps> He's a soldier in the closet. Very controversial issue these days. Yeah, he's also a businessman and a video gamer. You would like that other guy. Look at his cute little dog. <laughs> little pupper. What, what's in his lap there? <laughs> Is he also smoking a ton of weed? What's with our viewers? Wait, he's got pictures of his dog by his door there. Uh, what other secrets can we find in here? He's got a nice... What's on his puppy's bum? But don't you want to see what games he has? Looks like a board game or something. Okay. All right, I'm sorry. We let's get a not, little distracted Let's sometimes. not spoil the mystery. Hey, Ronnie, sup? What's up, Ronnie? <laughs> <laughs> I always feel bad when I don't have anything in particular to say, but what's up, Ronnie? Okay, good expression, he, Basil. He looked a little cray-cray. Jason looking awesome with his uh, light stand. That is a big light stand, Jason. Yeah, you think he's kidding around? So many Scots. <laughs> uh, he's got a vape, but in fairness, it's we don't know what's in the it's vape. It's probably weed, Seems like based on what our other viewers 100% of our viewers. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah, I love this kind of glitch pick art. And five. Yeah, you get a pick for that. You are creative. I love the black and white and then adding the color with the glitching really nice. That's like the exception to spot color. I love it. Ooh, I like this, Tim. You guys are just so creative. Flipping through because we're running out of pick. time. Ah, this is so spooky. Whoa, nice. Oh. Okay. Spot I'm going to get rid of the spot color. <laughs> and now you. we're cool. <laughs> I just like because it's like the penguin is watching you, but I imagine it's threatening you. Yeah, you get it. Like, you're like, is he the still penguin. there? <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Beautiful. Man, I wish I we could see the Milky Way more. Oh my God. I love this, Carol. <laughs> Great expression. Picking five stars. Good expression. I love the lighting. Good contrast, excellent picture. Wow, very cool. I have no idea what's going on, Richard. It's weird me out, and no, I like no, it. No, no, it's the game. She th she throws you health packs and stuff. Elizabeth, she's really helpful. What game is that? Do you know the game? I can't remember the name it's now. Bioshock Infinite. Yeah, Bioshock. Yeah. It's Elizabeth. She's really helpful. You form a relationship with this. With you do this. form a relationship with her. It's like you're. I don't. She's soft spoken and she's gentle. Spoilers, but she understands me. <laughs> All right, learning something new. Daniel, wow. this is so neato. Uh, you get a really... pick, Daniel. That's awesome. That's really creative. You get a I've pick never seen anything like well. that. The video is not supported. Oh, Maybe it's man. Do we need to? No, we probably shouldn't. I'm scared. This is a live show. <laughs> As a woman, I'm just. I watched it. It's not anything bad. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Okay, Miko, you get a pick. This kind Dang. of thing is allowed. That's awesome. You brought it to the next level. I. We've never gotten a submission like that. You were the first. Oh, John. 
You look so sad. I'm going to give you a pick. He's like a sad Michael Scott. <laughs> He's got the office on the brain. Yeah, everything is going to be an office reference from now on. Well, I've only been making you binge watch it. Yeah, so I we do suppose it's my fault. More pictures we can look through. But Siobhan, yeah. what do you got for us? Oh, we never did chit chat yet. Well, in we the have meantime, chit chat. Yeah, we got chit chat. Okay. It's okay. It's not our best chit chat. This is not our best chit chat. We read your comments, but they're not as good as they have been in previous weeks. So maybe you guys need to try a little harder. Well, Gary Norris said, once again, and you spell the name of Tony's pimp, starts with N, ends with N. So he's talking about Canon for the Canon video. But then on the same day, he said, what a Nikon prostitute. No, they're the same thing. He's just like answering his own joke. Oh, I thought the first one was Canon because this is a Canon video. Yeah, but I remember it was not a raving review of the 5D Mark IV. We just said it was generally a good all-around camera. And people want to hear, if they own a camera, they want you to say that it is the very best of all time at everything. And otherwise, you have personally offended them and you are a prostitute to some other company. I don't that's know the how only the two were connected. Honestly, you're going to have to... You know what? Make another comment, Gary. You can really take your time, use your words, explain to me what that has to do with prostitution. Okay, Dennis says, I have a question. Why do you ask for people to comment when so many just troll and are flat out mean? You should end your videos with, keep your comments to yourself and we will all be happier. <laughs> Such is mine. I don't know. I guess I'm a glutton for punishment like 99.9% .9 of the comments we get are positive and nice and helpful, but you tend to kind of just notice the really bad ones, um, but we don't take it that personal, especially since I learned that people that troll are like psychopaths in real life. I read a, a new science article about it. Yeah. They tracked down like trolls and they just found out that they were not right. Once you know that, it's just kind of like... Okay, Dave said, just want to say thanks. I passed my test today, and mostly all I did was study and watch your video a couple of times. Thank you. Tony, I just wanted to put this one out there because you're really helping people with your free drone certification video. Um, you know what's funny is somebody sent me an email today, and they just pointed me at a Facebook group that's for people getting their drone certification. Mm -hmm. And everybody in this Facebook group was on a first-name basis with me. Like they would just freely discuss like, oh, I watched Tony's video and I had a question. Oh, I passed today. I just watched Tony's video a couple of times. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I saw someone actually, it's weird that you say that. Uh, like last week on Reddit, say, he made a little guide for his things for getting to part 107 and you were uh -huh. right at the top. I was like, oh, sweet. I, I did wonder about that video. Remember that video was exhausting to make, Justin? Yeah, I do. I studied for weeks, and then it took me a long time just to put the presentation together, and then it was like two and a half hours. Like, it was physically exhausting. And everybody else was charging like 500 bucks for the same thing, and I'm like, this seems stupid to put it up for free. Like, this is really hard. And everybody, I could probably make a bunch of money on it, but I just decided i just put it up for free. But everybody seems to really like it, so it makes me feel good. Like, I've gotten so many people who said they passed that test. That's good. Just based on my dumb video. So that's some of the good feedback I was talking about earlier. Yeah. Fat Tony says, you want to know my camera settings? As if my entire life didn't lead up to taking this photograph, every meal I've eaten contributed. Every step I've taken led me to this viewpoint. I think he's being dramatic because you said you spent <laughs> six years learning Spanish. Yeah. People, people act like when I say something, it, it must have been thought out. <laughs> but that's not necessarily true. It's just whatever popped into my head. Yeah, stop giving him so much credit. He's just one man. I was thinking through all the challenges of Peru. But let me say, like, Peru was difficult to navigate without some command of Spanish, right? I guess. Like, nobody speaks English. There's no signs in English. You have to talk to the cab driver in Spanish. It's not like other countries. We it's didn't... Spanish or nothing. Yeah, and we. I think if you go on a tour and you're... With other people that speak English, it would be different. But you're right. We had to use our very limited Spanish to torture our cab driver. A lot yeah. of pantomiming. Okay. But that was part of it. And Bear Hawk said, very good job, Chelsea. I am proud of you. Is that you, Dad? <laughs> the in the cradle Don't you and the wish. Spoon. Sorry. Thank you. I thought that was sweet. Okay. 
Siobhan, poor Chelsea's you... still in the first verse of that song, I think. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. I know that playing that song is how you make any man cry. <laughs> That's I just true. put it on, we all, all have the men cry, issues. and then I steal their stuff. Siobhan, <laughs> tell me. Tell me your secrets. <laughs> no, but I have questions. <laughs> Besides spot color, fringing, and the background not being level, what are your biggest pet peeves in a picture? Mm, what was the second thing, spot color? Fringing, that oh. thing where someone's pregnant and then they make a hand heart. <laughs> Why did you do that? That was weird. What's yours? I hate uh, beginning glamour photography. I was just thinking <laughs> amateur nudes. Ugh, it's so it makes me so uncomfortable i'm like oh, i don't want to uh, i don't want to know you like that it's so uncomfortable <laughs> that's it hand hand hearts and intro to glamour how about when they're always next to a car or something Bow. oh for glamour photography yeah. yeah like they've just been reading lowrider magazine and aspiring to that yeah there's like a really old magazine in their doctor's office and they were like Oh my gosh, hot chicks and cars? Who could have thought? Yeah, it is weird because it's kind of a dead genre. I mean, maybe we should talk about this on since Hugh Hefner just died, but people still kind of aspire to create this style of photography that doesn't really exist anymore. Yeah, guys are cool like that. Like, they like to see multiple things they like together. I can't imagine being like, I want to see hot men and mm, cookies. <laughs> you know what I mean? It'd just be strange. What if it's like no, that sounds good, though. hot dudes and puppies? <laughs> You'd buy that calendar, right? Yeah, I would. You're right. Can I just quickly look at Joey's picture? Because I like that he's... It looks like oh, he's, he's shooting up... he's uploading a memory. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, he's shooting up a memory. All right. I thought it was really compelling, Whoa. but I wasn't sure. You hit me right in the heart. You got it. What else do you have, Sean? <gasps> oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, you get a pic. That's that is hilarious. hilarious. That is exactly... Laugh out loud hilarious. <laughs> You're hilarious. He's got Mark. too many comments. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Kurt Tweedle. Our, so our dear friend Rob Tillets. Yeah. Who gives us so, too much money? Said, I'm bummed. I finally got a photo submitted on time and it didn't come up. What? We need to find Rob Tillets. I don't even know how to do that. Well, maybe it's not done. <laughs> What's his name? Rob. Rob Tillets. What else do you have, Shabon? Kevin Liu gave us two dollars and said, "You guys look very hydrated." Here's Robabella. Thank you. Is that I'm close actually enough? not that. No. <laughs> I like your shot, Robabella. Thanks for the money. I could be more hydrated, but thank you. Siobhan, is your mic in like the same room? <laughs> Dude, I have no idea what is wrong with this mic. Well, it seems like it's but pretty I far away. I still hear myself on an echo, so it's all a mess. So we should just make it's you right talk here. and see how slow you get? Siobhan's spirit is only partially in this dimension. <laughs> That's accurate. <laughs> this is interesting. I give a name line. Any other questions or comments? Oh, yeah. yeah this guy parties. <gasps> what should I look for in a location for portraiture? In a what? A low-key shoot for portraiture? Location. Oh, a location. For Portraiture. Seriously, your mic is totally messed up. Yeah. You might have it set to the wrong device or something. I don't think it's, She's it's coming through something oh, else. That's a, good, that's a good point. She is in a different dimension. I don't know why we're not listening to my troubleshooting. I think this studio is sexist. <laughs> um, Light, background. Light, background, and I like to look for a, a background that will work well with the composition so if i'm taking a picture of a person i don't want it to be very cluttered unless that's a part of the story so i'll look for clean lines good light all of that what's this person up to i don't know i really I like, like this it. picture yeah I Ooh, that everybody's so glitchy tonight and we're into it oh my gosh look at this sad picture he went to the sports game and nobody else came <laughs> Corey, i'm gonna give you a pic see you i see you whoa that's a self-portrait that's amazing oh he must have a gopro i need to get board. my life right you know what i mean yeah blaine's got it together oh oh that's awesome we saw a few of these milky way shots but i think we saw him already but about 
so handsome. Oh, I like that. Good shot. I like the hand. Good posing. Good yeah, pick. that's good posing. See, it's important to figure out how to be a model, too. Nice. Maya. I like your look. Clean background. Oh, Whoa, I like the natural framing and the how symmetrical it is. I'm going to give you a pic. Oh, oh wait. What? It's a picture of her, but it says photo by Zach. You tricked us. How could you do this to me? Nonetheless, it's a good picture. Now I don't trust anyone. <laughs> well, we know that guy took it. Wow. Oh, okay. This is awesome. Wow. You risk getting run over for this. I love the That's spots what we do. on the lens and the lights and the lines. One of the best shots of the night. You get to pick. Awesome shot. Oh my gosh, what's he looking at? I don't know. That's what I was wondering too. He seems happy about it. Wait, what are you gonna do? I was gonna up the contrast a little bit. Oh, I just wanted to really look at the reflections in his eyes and see if I could figure out what was going on in the room. I'm a creep. Sometimes you just gotta let a a mystery be, Tony. Nice lighting. Yeah, I like this kind of moody lighting for a self-portrait. I'm going to go black and white with that. Now you look like a poet. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Suzanne, for not making the heart hands. It would have been really awkward if you did. <laughs> so that's a lesson to me. Think before you speak. Um, I remember seeing this picture when I was filtering them, and I, I couldn't remember if that was happening or not. So you were like, uh-oh. I was worried for you. You were like, end the show. Cut the show. No, it's nice. I like the light, your expression. I have a question though. Like, how does that happen? What are you asking? Pregnancy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, what brought that about? <laughs> a stork. Look at this guy. Dang. Uh, just what is his name? I can't read it. I don't have my reading glasses. A new tech bidstrup. Oh. Thank you for saying that. Um, awesome shop. Shop. I like the notes. That's really cool. Wow. Everybody. Whoa. Is that real? No. So I guess we're all just lying to Chelsea today. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have violated Chelsea's trust. This is serious. Um, it's very headlighty. I wish the light were a little bit softer, but... Nonetheless, I like that you're looking up at it. Oh, this is too cute. Yeah, that is cute. These guys are cute. Yeah, it's cute. Oh, boy. Oh, man. This guy's hardcore with the Rubik's. He's got the four by four. Dang. No wonder why he's tired. He's got all those glasses. I can't even imagine why. I'm going to give you a pick because you're telling a story I don't understand. Wow. You took that yourself? Yeah, that's cool. That's nice. A little wider, you copped into your feet a little oh bit. Oh my gosh, there. look at how dramatically he plays video games. I bet he's friends with that lady that passes things through the window like you. I'm going to give him a pick. <laughs> Wait. What? Okay. This, the mood of these two was just so I know. similar. Pick as well. Ooh. Dang. But I want to brighten it up some, pick. don't you? Sure. I really like it. the shot. I just. Yeah. Look at that histo. It's a little. A little low, but I think this is one of the most creative shots we've seen. Yeah, that's awesome cool. shot, Lucia. Ooh. Marcus skewed. Bang. Good. Yeah, good job on the Whoa. shot of the feel on that. The ladies are bringing it tonight. You have a very intense stare, and that makes the photo unique. <gasps> John Wallace. Dang, this guy is you the hair. He's the my hair, hair the hero. Hair of the century. Yeah, you get a pick, John. You're awesome. Whoa, very cool. Good composition, everybody. Uh-oh. Don't do that. Uh, That's a danger. Maybe it's a drone shot. No, it's taken with a 5D Mark III. I'm wondering, like, how he set his camera up and then ran over there. Don't you be a liar, Kevin. That's not a self-portrait, I swear to God. Let's brighten it a lot. What do you think? Yeah, that's better. But I'm just saying, Kevin, you don't want a demerit. <laughs> really nice. 
That's interesting. I like that shot. That has a great mood yeah. to it. I like this too, and that's an awesome house. They nail it with the self portraits. Yeah, this is always my favorite show. I like to see what our what viewers our viewers look, look like. like and what they're up to. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I like that a lot. Very oh nice. man, Joe, that's awesome. I really yeah. like Joe's shot. Give him a pick. The light there, the mood. Yeah. This little hat. Regular size hat. Right. I just mean I'm just moving quickly now. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Dan Gabriel. Another magician. <laughs> Sorry to be going through so quickly, but we're already over time, so we just want to get through them. That's great. I'm going to give that a pick. <laughs> we need the party. Somebody on Twitter asked about your favorite office characters. I like Dwight because I really have known someone like him. I relate mostly to Kevin. <laughs> Kevin is my favorite. You do love Kevin. Yeah, he's my favorite. Whenever he's on, on screen, I'm super happy about it. Yeah, he's pretty great. Oh, you know who else I really like is Creed? Oh, yeah. Because they're always revealing something really weird about him. Mm -hmm. Like he said, he was like 80-something, but then he wanted to look young, so he dyed his hair with printer ink. <laughs> There's so many good characters on The Office. This is great, Lavisa. I'm going to give you a pick. I love the use of color. In yeah, it's awesome. really creative. Very creative, yeah. Nice, Vance. Any other questions as we scroll through? Uh, we circled through. We got. We did it. We did it. We did it. We, we got, got through. Three new money comments. All right, let's oh, read them. Dang. Let's read them. Mark Petrie gave us $5. Uh, you picked my Wolverine Forks pick. I love you guys. We love you well, thanks too. for sending that in. That really made us both laugh. That was an awesome shot. Rob Tillits gave us twenty dollars again, Dang. and said just the same. I participated in an entire show, and I'm proud. Well, thank thank you, you. Greg Smith gave us five dollars, and said, "I know how you can improve the sharpness of all photos." I'm talking to you, Tony. Wear your reading glasses. <laughs> Now I can actually see you. totally fine. I wear contact lenses. I just wanted to see if she could pronounce that name. It's called Ball Buster. I don't like it. All right. Awesome shot, Franklin. We'll end on that. I just like the lighting and the serious expression mm -hmm. there. Thank you, everyone, for submitting. Thank you, Squarespace, for making this show possible. Guys, if you want to support us, you can do that by heading over to Squarespace and just trying a free trial at least. Go to squarespace.com slash Tony, and if you decide you like it and want to buy it, you can use the coupon code PORTFOLIO to get 10% off. If you have your free trial, you can submit it to sdp.io slash link, and you may be featured on our show. That's exciting and fun. So thanks, Squarespace, for making this show possible, and thank you, Justin and Siobhan, for helping us out tonight, every night. Thanks, guys. See you uh, next week when our theme oh, is... Oh, Siobhan. Yeah, what's our theme next week? Oh. Did we tell people what our theme is? I forgot. <laughs> we didn't put a slide in. I guess follow us on Twitter or something. We'll tweet it when we figure it out. I'll put it up. It's going to be fine. Yeah, sorry. See you next week. It's a busy week. Bye. I think Madeline's on. That is all. That is all.